There are plenty of amazing door handles on the market, but we've opted for the more organic approach with this beautiful piece of driftwood. This certainly adds another textural element to our home and we're going to show you just how easy it is to do it yourself. To begin, there's some tools and materials that you'll need. Driftwood, Selly's 5 minute arrow diet, 16mm timber dowel, 16mm spade bit, drill, paddle pop stick, sandpaper, a pencil and tape measure, hand saw and protective glasses. First up, we're going to hold our driftwood against the door to get our desired position. Now the trick is here to have the flattest part of your piece of wood sitting against the door just like this. Now there's no right or wrong here, but it's a good idea to have a second person to tell you their opinion. So that's good. Cool. So we're going to be attaching our driftwood with two bits of timber dowel. Next up, we're going to mark out where that dowel is going to sit. So we'll place a mark towards the top of our driftwood and another one down the bottom and that will mark out where we're going to drill the holes for the dowel. At those marks, we'll use our 16mm spade bit to drill a hole about 15 to 20mm deep. We'll also use our sandpaper to take off any of those timber burrs. Now we're going to cut our timber dowel to length around 50 or 60mm. It's pretty easy here. We're simply going to cut the dowel with our handsaw. A little tip here is to dry fit the dowel first, making sure that they're straight with one another and that will ensure an easy fit when we go to mount our driftwood onto the door. Now we're ready to get gluing and we'll be using the Selly's 5 minute arrow diet which we've used on multiple jobs around the house. Now these syringe style packets are perfect to keep in the drawer and whip out for any quick fixes and in this case they're the perfect type of glue for the strength and the weight that it can hold. First up, we'll snap out the reusable cap from the middle of the plunger and then snip off the ends of the syringe. Squeeze equal parts of both liquids onto a disposable surface. We'll give it a really thorough mix with a paddle pop stick and the glue will remain workable for about three to five minutes. Put the cap on the arrow diet so it's ready for the next phase. Apply the five minute arrow diet inside the hole and a little bit around the outside of the dowel and we'll simply slip them inside the holes. Let the glue set for about 30 minutes and allow longer bonding time in colder weather. With the dowel set into our driftwood, it's time to mark the position on the door. Once we've done that, we'll use our 16mm spade bit again and drill some holes about 20 to 25mm deep. Let's dry fit our handle simply by inserting those dowels into those holes that we just drilled. Get that fitting in there firmly. If you wanted to get a closer fit, you can simply trim the ends of those dowels down. You'll be a pro at using the five minute arrow diet by now, so simply mix some up, place some inside the holes on the door and on the dowel of your handle and bring them together. Once the handle is set in place, leave to bond for at least 30 minutes. With this glue, maximum strength will be achieved in about 16 hours. 